All right, guys, so how did it feel to be back out there on the floor? Felt great. I couldn't, I was just excited off the jump. Been waiting for so long, all the workouts we did and everything that we did over the summer. Just couldn't wait to get back out there and beat up on somebody else. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, just to play with the team, see what the team was going to be like, see how everybody was going to gel and fit in. And just to play basketball against another team, different color jersey. I was excited for it. Are you guys more focused about Saturday's uh, scrimmage, or are you focused on TU now? Nah, it's one game at a time. One I mean, game at a time. It's, it's an exhibition game, but it's still, it's it's still a game. game you know? It wasn't. We just got to take it a game at a time, keep getting better. Then we get ready for TU after we win Saturday. Yep. Talk about some of the you guys. How do you think they fit in? I think everybody fits in. I think, you know, Al was, Albert was a little, you know, first game freshman jitters, but he made a couple good moves. It was just they were there, you know, so he got to learn how to, you know, just to really settle down a little bit. And Darren and Dedrick, I think they did good too. They just, you know, everybody was just kind of an off night. Uh, jitters, like first like game jitters. Three for 18 from the three, like Coach said. And then in practice, they make a lot of shots. So I'm, you can almost bet that. Once they get their legs under them and just get calmed down, they're going to be knocking down those shots. Because, yeah, 3 for 18. Is... Adrenaline is a very good defensive player, I should say. And first game out there, jitters just get everybody. And some people, when they get experience, they just know how to fight with the adrenaline and make it better to their game. And I feel like in time, they'll get that where they can work with the adrenaline instead of being up against them. So I feel like Albert will be a very dominant player down there once he figures out what he's doing. And Dedrick and Darian will be lights out whenever they see it wide open, besides the lights in the maybe center getting in their way. Well, I mean, it's uh, – I'm glad it was an exhibition game. I, I wasn't as nervous as I, I would have been if it was a, a game that would have gone to the record books because, uh, you know, it, it was a tight game. Obviously, that was an understatement. But East Central, give them a lot of credit. I thought their guys really played well. Obviously, they shot the ball extremely well the first half. And, you know, they're the first part of the second half. And we could just never – we finally caught up. And I thought we had some chances to maybe uh, extend the extend the lead a little bit. And they jump up and hit a three. And, you know, those guys, uh, if, if they shoot like that, they're a good basketball team. I, I don't – you know, I don't know anything about them. Didn't watch them on tape. We didn't have any tapes on them. Uh, some of these guys are new, but if, if that's how they typically play, they'll, they'll win a bunch of games. Uh, but I'm glad we won. I, I thought uh, that, that that's what this or these exhibition games are for. Uh, that they're, they're they're practice games. Uh, they're for to get your nerves some nerves out. They're gain some experience for your young guys, and you know this will do this team wonders. And I, I think you know having three or four practices before Saturday, you'll see a you know you'll see a much better team Saturday night. You know, I thought our, our freshmen didn't play as well as I thought they would, but, you know, a couple of them hadn't played a significant game in two years, and that's Dedrick and, and Darian. You know, they both redshirted last year. Uh, it's been since their you know, senior year in high school since they played. And, you know, obviously Darian hit some shots there in the second half. You know, Dedrick didn't – you know, De Dedrick's, you know, one for six, one for five. Um He's a much better player than that. And then, you know, I thought uh, I thought AJ played with some confidence. You know, he he made a couple really nice moves, um, but he had made some mistakes as well. He took some bad shots, um, forced some things. You know, had a couple turnovers, but you know, AJ is going to be a good player. But you know, that that's that, that, again that that's what these games are for too for these young guys. Um, to get a little bit of experience, get some nerves out, and they'll be better Saturday. How's Obi uh, recuperating? Well, I played I played him too many minutes. That was my fault. Uh, you know, he was rusty. He was rusty. Uh, he did some good things though. You know, eight rebounds, six assists, three steals. I bet it wasn't the same Obi. You know, he, he gets to the free throw line one time. He didn't attack the. He didn't really attack the the basket. And I don't know if that's fatigue or still a little bit cautious. But you know. He, in practice, he hadn't shown that. But, you know, games are different in practice. You know that. And, and uh, But I reminded Jeff Hacks on the radio, you know, last year 
he was a little bit rusty too. He, he was coming off a year where he redshirted his first two exhibition games. He didn't play well either, and then started the season. He was you know he was our best player through four games, three and a half games.